production starts around Isiodo, maybe 80 kilometers or and near to Isiodo. That's where the camels are grazing. As you can see, milking involves two guys, one on the right side, the other one on the left side, maybe bedding their knees. Traditionally, there was a container, wooden, they called deal. These days, it has been replaced by plastics or aluminium. After milking, the milk is put in another container. These days, it's replaced by plastic containers from 3 liters, 5 liters, 20 liters. Transportation in the bush starts with a donkey if the camels are near town. But if they are further, they use matatus or motorbikes. As it arrives in Syria, it's received by wheelbarrows taken to the stores. These are, these are a group of Balkas women, the women group now. And the initial part is where they put the milk into a plastic bag. If not a plastic bag, a plastic bucket, like this one, then it's cooled in a refrigerator. Here, the milk will stay overnight, then tomorrow morning it's put into 20 liter plastic jerry cans or the aluminium cans. Then it's carried by wheelbarrow to the bus stop. <laughs> The bus now going to Isiri. Uh, also along the way they go picking some other milks along the way. In Isiri they are wholesalers. Some women will receive bulk of the milk. These are the tears who sell milk just outside in the sun, in the mud. These are their customers, some buying in plastic bags, some buying in 2 liters or 5 liter cans. And now milk now here can be taken as fresh into tea or if it's sour also can be taken as sour milk. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole chain. Oh, my God.